You know those like skin tight hoodies that people wear or those weird hoodie vests? No, 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 the worst. The hoodie and denim jacket combo. Guys, stop wearing these. Whether you're looking for your next everyday wearable hoodie or a hoodie style I guarantee you have never heard of, you've come to the right place. Because in this video, we are going over the complete and definitive guide of the best hoodies to buy right now. So let's jump into it. So let's take it back all the way to the 30s with the invention of the hoodie by the brand Champion. They added a hood to a sweater to protect people from the cold as well as sideline athletes from things like rain and snow. Now fast forward 100 years later, they still make a great hoodie. And for me, it has to be the reverse weave hoodie. Now I like my hoodies to have certain features. I like them to have a boxier fit, a little bit on the baggier side. I like them to have a kangaroo pocket. Material quality has to be there. There has to be some heavy weight to it. And things like drawstrings are totally optional. Now Champion Reverse Weave has all those features, but they do have one thing that I really don't like, which we'll get to in a minute. By the way, if you've ever wondered what reverse weave even means, Basically, it is a manufacturing process where they cut the cotton on the cross grain during production, which prevents it from shrinking and makes it more durable. That's also what gives it a little bit of that rougher feel to the touch, which I actually enjoy. It makes it seem a little bit more dense of a product, if I'm being honest. And they also make some great uh, zip up versions of hoodies as well, both of which have a fleece inner lining. I'm actually wearing a size small in the zip up compared to a medium in the hoodie in the pullover, um, just because I like how the zip up gives a bit of a crop to it. And this brings us to the very first styling tip of wearing zip up hoodies, which is to wear it with a graphic tee underneath. Not only will this allow you to add more detail to your outfit, um, but it also can add a little bit more personality, right? You can wear your favorite graphic tee underneath, could be a band t-shirt or something like that. Now the problem with Champion Reverse Weave, in my opinion, is that there are logos on it. Sometimes you want a completely blank slate, you don't want any logos on it, which brings us to our next favorite hoodie style, which is Abercrombie. They have a great standard popover, pullover hoodie that comes in a number of different colors. Like I'm talking over 24 different styles, including ones with patterns, for example. And this is just a very simple and plain great everyday wearable hoodie. It also has a very, very soft material to it. Um, they call it their soft AF fabric, which is kind of funny. But the problem with the super soft lightweight fabric is that you do get a little bit of wrinkles along the arms, um, which I'm not a huge fan of, but overall it doesn't occur unless you wear it for long hours. My favorite color is the light heather gray. I'm wearing a size medium. And if you've been watching the channel, I've been talking about boxy fit gray hoodies for a very long time. And this one just goes with everything, whether you want to wear it with pattern pants or just a regular pair of jeans, you could never go wrong. So I'll be sure to link these in the description if you want to shop. As mentioned, they come in a bunch of different colors and a great style tip when it comes to pullover hoodies without logos is that you can actually dress them up a little bit better, right? Having things with logos on it makes it seem a little bit more on the tackier side. So having something that's just nice and plain, you can actually wear it underneath a long top coat, which is one of my go-tos in the fall. It's just a really clean and classy look, something that's still very comfortable and warm. And it can be dressed up, but it also has that sort of streetwear appeal to it if you wear it with some sneakers. Now, another style tip with the Abercrombie popover hoodie is to wear it as a matching set. As I mentioned, they come in a number of different styles and colors. So that means that they have matching bottoms to go with the hoodie as well, right? And there's something that I absolutely love about matching sets. There's just super cozy, very uniform vibe. Um, one thing to keep in mind is that the pants do fit a lot bigger than the hoodie. The hoodie is of course a size medium, as I mentioned, and the sweatpants that I'm wearing are a size extra small. Like I said, throw it on with some sneakers and a hat and it's just a super, super clean look. Another matching set style that I highly recommend to you guys is from a Canadian brand called Simons. They do ship to the US as well and I got this taupe color in the hoodie and in the pants. I had to get both of them. It's just a super clean vibe. They do have a nice oversized, but my favorite detail with this one is that it has this sort of faded look to it, which I absolutely love. They do come in four other different colors as well and you really can't miss with either one. I just can't explain how good the quality is, the weight on these is on point. So if you're looking for the best matching set that I was able to find, this is definitely the one, one that I recommend the most. Now one brand that combines all of these features that I've mentioned so far in terms of quality, weight, distressing, and style is a brand called Muji Muji. It's a bit of a weird name, but if you've been watching my recent videos, you've noticed that I featured this brown zip up hoodie a number of times. And the reason is because I love it so much. It has all of these great features that we've been talking about so far. It has distressing along the hood as well as the sleeves. It, they have a really good sun fading process that they apply to it. And just the overall quality for the price point is there for sure. They do have a number of different colors that you can find on the website, whether you want to go with something a little bit more of an earth tone or a neutral color. They got you guys covered for sure. And they also make popover hoodies. I grabbed this one in this nice sage green color, which I think looks excellent with some light wash jeans. One thing I forgot to mention with these hoodies is that they were 
actually John Thrift's approved. If you've seen his TikToks where he does the hoodie hunt, he recommends a bunch of hoodies and he mentioned this one. Uh, so if it's good for him, trust me, it will be good for you guys. Oh, sorry, someone's knocking on my door. One second. Hey man, I'm busy. Oh, are you filming? No, I'm driving a school bus right now. Jeez, you're filming with your beard like that? Damn, is it that bad? Looks like it fell off and you tried to glue it back together. Uh, all right, one sec. This video is sponsored by Harry's. I've been loving their products for well over a year now. They're the perfect balance of affordability and quality. I used to buy those cheap razors that would just destroy my face, leaving behind bumps and other nonsense. But with Harry's, all of their blades are made in Germany in their very own factory where they've been industry leaders for over a hundred years. After each shave, my skin is smooth and smells great. Plus the razor itself feels super high end. So if you want to try out, they gave me a crazy offer. I don't even know how they're making money on this. Using the link in my description, you can get a trial set worth $13 for just $5. Trust me, you won't regret it. I really appreciate your guys' support whenever I work with brands. It helps out the channel more than you guys will ever know. And shout out to Harry's for sponsoring today's video. Ah, uh, that's much better. Okay, so this next hoodie, I guarantee is a hoodie style that you guys have never seen before. It is from a brand called Amulet Wear and it's called a Carpenter Hoodie. Now what's so special about this one is not only is the quality on point, not only is it super heavyweight, easily the, the heaviest hoodie that I own in my collection, which is something that, I, as I mentioned, I prefer, but it has these mechanic carpenter utility pockets along the kangaroo pouch on the front as well as on the side. Now, when you go on the website and you see it, it sort of advertises something that you would put tools in, for example. At least that's what they're just showing in the image. Now, I'm obviously not going to do that, but to have something where you you can throw an extra uh, sunglasses or a portable charger or even your keys is something that's valuable to me and not only that it looks cool and it adds a little bit more detail and it's a little bit more of a talking point um, for when you're posting your fit pics or when you're just chatting with somebody in person and they notice this they also just released I believe what's called a chore hoodie it is very pricey I have to admit I just picked it up so I will report back and feature it in the channel um, once I receive it in hand but this thing is super super sick and I love the fact that it's washed black just because it's that more wearable the carpet hoodie that I showed you is this uh, moss green color uh, which is basically like an acid wash or a stone washed olive now quantities for these hoodies are flying so do not wait I'll leave a link in the description as I mentioned uh, so be sure to pick those up before they sell out sizes are already flying um, but yeah definitely the best quality hoodie featured in this video alternatively if you guys are looking for just the cheapest option possible something that is super affordable maybe you're on a budget or you're a student or something I got you guys covered this is Russell athletic you can buy this on Amazon um, and it's around $20 which is excellent I have this hoodie obviously and uh, there's a number of great things about it but also some drawbacks which I'll go over so number one is it still has that classic boxy shape um, that I have been talking about in the video so much it does have that good shape the good texture everything about it is nice however they do cheap out on a few options first one is the drawstrings you'll notice that it's not like a standard rope it's just very thin um, but who cares drawstrings it's not even a big deal most people pull them out anyways the next drawback is on the sleeves uh, they are a little bit on the thinner side and they get those like cotton boogers or I don't even know what you would call those but those little beads that add up um, they get those relatively quick and it is one of those things um, that after the first wash uh, you know you will notice that um, it starts to pill a little bit more um, but overall I've worn this dozens of times I featured them in the videos in the past and they do the trick for sure um, I do wish that the gray is a little bit on the lighter side however this like sort of medium or dark gray will do they do have a bunch of different colors as well uh, they do have crew neck versions and just a number of different styles um, so if you guys are looking for the cheapest and most affordable option I'll definitely link this one in the description as well now if you guys are looking for the best fall sneakers to wear this season check this video out right over here or if you want to learn about some of the best the very best fall trends if you want to upgrade your style check this video out right over here so why don't we click on one of those and I'll meet you guys there